Welcome back to our conversation with Attorney General Maura Healy. How many different lawsuits are you involved in right now against the Trump administration and its policies? Well, we have a number of lawsuits. We have a number of wins already, successfully defending the Affordable Care Act, making sure that the DACA program stayed in place. We've won on any number of efforts by the Trump administration to roll back important regulations related to our environment and climate change. We recently won in court a couple weeks ago uh, defeating the Trump's administration's effort to tinker with the census. They wanted to add mm -hmm. a citizenship question to the census. We took them to court. We won. We also had a win ensuring that there would remain insurance coverage in place for birth control. So we're going to continue to be there in courts. I work a lot with other states on this, John, um, because it's about standing up for Massachusetts interests. Now, we talked about this shortly after President Trump came into office, that your aggressive use of, of your powers and of the court system to try to push back on these, on these policies where you feel they're illegal or unconstitutional. Uh, now that there's a Democratic House, uh, is it time to back off a little bit and let the political process take on more of the pushback rather than micromanage it so aggressively through the legal system? No. Um, so here's what I think needs to happen. I certainly hope that with a Democratic House, more action can be taken, more things can get done. Um, so I am very hopeful and, and want to be hopeful that we'll actually see Congress and the President be able to work to get things done. But we've got to continue to be there to do our job. And in the face of actions that are unconstitutional, that hurt our interests, we've got to continue to be there to hold the line in court and uphold the Constitution, uphold the rule of law. You know, and I'll give you a simple example, John. We talk a lot about climate change. There's been a lot of talk in this state about what we need to do to address this issue. The fact of the matter is there are more clean energy jobs in Massachusetts than total coal jobs in the entire country. We took the Trump administration to court to stop them from having us as ratepayers and taxpayers foot the bill for coal, okay? Because those decisions, and it's just one example, they undermine investments that we've made in our clean energy economy and jobs here. So it's- But how is that we, your concern? Well, it's done in violation of the law. They violated any number of laws, and that's why we haven't lost a case yet, John. All right, I've, the, I can't, I've lost count of how many we've had to bring, but we have not lost any case yet against the Trump administration. And I think that shows how important it is that we've been in court, you know, on everything from voting to immigration to health care, on issues of, of, of gun safety laws and the like. And we're going to continue to be there as we need to. But I sure hope we see with a change in Congress, and hopefully the president has a better understanding at this point, um, given his debacle over the wall, that he needs to work with Congress to get things done. We're almost out of time here, but I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you. You know, the presidential race is underway, and the multiple candidates, including our own Senator Warren, are in. Uh, who's, who's impressed you so far? I think there are a lot of impressive candidates already. I do think that we will see more candidates. I think that's good for the health of the party to see a lot of people running, and I think it'll make for an interesting 18 months. You're not endorsing Warren, right? I'm not focused on this right now. I'm, I'm frankly focused on my uh, work to combat the opioid crisis, the work we've got to do to protect consumers and workers here. Is it inevitable that you will endorse her? I think we're going to have to wait and see how everything goes with all of this. And, you know, I look forward to, um, to watching this unfold. I have a lot of respect and admire Senator Warren, certainly, and believe uh, in many of her policy ideas and what she stands for. We've done a lot of work together around student loan issues, for example. Mm -hmm. But um, this is democracy. We appreciate your time. Oh, Thank great you. to be with you, John. Good to see you. All right. And uh, hear more of our conversation with Attorney General Healy on Studio BZ, our weekly podcast. Check it out when the new one drops this coming Wednesday. That's all my time now. Back over to my colleagues for more WBZ News.